What's up Saga Nation? For this one we're gonna be talking a little bit about the inventory and the different rifles. A question that I've seen quite often is how does this work? Why doesn't my rifles go into my loadout and everything? I'm just quickly gonna show you that and bear in mind I'm on PC so it might be a little different on console. But I want to show you here we're gonna buy a lure. You buy in the store. You can buy everything you can see over here on the left hand side. We're gonna buy something that we don't have already, and we don't have a moose scent, I know that much. When you buy an item, it goes into your backpack. If you pay attention here on the top, it says storage and backpack. This means everything you have here on the left hand side is in your storage and cannot be equipped while you're out hunting. And whatever you have in your backpack, you can equip during a hunt and you don't need to be near a cache for that. Let's quickly just find the moose scent right here and now we just simply drag it to the right hand side so it goes into our backpack once you've done that you go out of the menu you press f2 for the inventory go down to lures drag out the moose scent to wherever i want it over here in the right hand side for my hotkeys we're gonna put it as number seven close down the menu hit number seven on our keyboard and there we go moose scent I really don't hope that actually works while I'm trying to explain this, but uh, <laughs> we'll have to see about that. Gonna put the moose scent back, and then we're gonna be talking a little bit about the different rifles. Because also a question I see asked a lot is what rifle to get. It really depends what you want to hunt. Because taking a look at the different rifles here, the 223 is pretty much only good for foxes. You do not want to spend money on this one in the early game. You're starting out with the Ranger 243. This is actually a really, really good rifle and I have loads of videos showing you exactly how you can maximize your harvests with this one. So if you feel like you're struggling with it, go find some of my other videos, especially how to make money as a beginner. That is a really good one, showing the power of the 243. But without a shadow of a doubt, I would advise you to go for the 7mm as your first rifle that you end up buying, simply because it is very, very good. You can take down every animal with it and you get full integrity on quite a few as well. Whereas if you were looking at the 270, you would pretty much only get an upgraded version of the 243, which is actually pretty damn good in the first place so save your money from the 270 and go for the 7mm at least that is my advice to you guys but if you have the patience and you kind of want to just go for the big one and get to the big game as soon as possible you might want to go for the 338 this is a powerful rifle but you only get full integrity on moose brown bear which is on medvev tiger bison and roswell elk the 338 is really good on Leighton lake as you have two species you have the same on medvev tiger on hirschfeld you only have one animal that you can actually shoot with the 338 for full integrity and that's the bison but the thing to also keep in mind is that the accuracy of the 338 is not that good it is pretty hard to hit those long shots at around 300 and plus where the 7mm is a little better and of course as you go in lower calibers the accuracy gets better but for full integrity with the 7mm you have on hisfeld and red deer and bison here on leighton lake you have moose on roswell elk and black bear that's three species that you can actually get full integrity on and on medvev tiger you have moose brown bear and reindeer and if you just want something to completely destroy those of roe deer white tail black tail whatever the 7mm is plenty powerful the only time you really should be paying attention to what you have in front of you and shoot it with the correct weapon is when you have the opportunity to get a diamond animal. And I have a video showing you how to do that as well. But I also would just advise you to pretty much shoot it with the most powerful rifle you have at hand just to not be tracking too much. And this way you optimize the time you spend hunting. If I have to give my own opinion to you guys, I would go for the 7mm simply because the 270 is not a lot more powerful than what you already have in the 243. And if you use neck and spine shots with the 243, you can pretty much drop everything up to Roswell Elks. So the 270 is just, well, it's a little more powerful if you want to go for lungs and vital shots like that. But I would really advise you to go for the 7mm. I've also got some people asking me if they should go for the Hawkett CB70 or the 338 first. I would always advise you to go for the 338 first, simply because it is so damn easy to make money with the 338. This rifle is just a massive 
cannon and you can drop anything with it. I know this is a different and somewhat weird video, but I just wanted to address these questions and I hope you guys want to share your thoughts with me down in the comments below. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and please watch some of my other videos as well.